is here. It's Quilma the Hedgehog. And I'm holding her and I'm a little nervous, but here to introduce us is director of Scoville Zoo, Ken Fry. Okay, Ken, so far she's pretty good. She had a little jump right when we were starting, but she's pretty cute. <laughs> Tell us about her. Yeah, and that's part of her defense mechanism is that little sniffy thing she's doing right now. It's kind of real fast. Um, breathing thing that they do and then if something comes up to threaten them they get their nose close and then they do a little jump oh. and that just pokes their quills right in the nose or right in a paw and it makes them think twice about trying to mess with this little creature and these are it's a hedgehog by the way you're holding a hedgehog and when they are in that ball they can roll up into a ball and all these spines that are on here here go different directions when she's calm they'll kind of all lay in one general direction when she's not as calm they kind of go all different directions to kind of make her defense a little more um, defensible, I guess. <laughs> so is she in the porcupine family? No, she, well, she's an insectivore. I think just because they have quills, they're kind of yeah. related in that way. But um, she is an insectivore, so they eat insects. And uh, like the tenrec from Madagascar, which I think we've yeah. had here, um, they, they kind of are related only because they're insectivores as well. So Will she lose these quills and like grow new ones or is like... Uh, no, they, they kind of stay there, and once they grow in, they kind of stay there. And I think, um, like hair, if something gets knocked out or pulled out or, or something, it could regenerate in that area. When they're born, they, and probably on the underside, like your gloves on their mm -hmm. underside of her, very soft, very... Um, Easy going hair, I should say, in the belly, <laughs> the belly side. A little fur. But, and when they're born, they're kind of that way. Then the quills will start coming out after birth. So uh, they're, they're not too hard on mom during birth. And, <gasps> and, uh, yeah. <laughs> right now it looks like they are kind of going in separate directions and that little sniffling thing. Yeah. <laughs> she's doing that, it seems like, in, in my glove here. And she's not moving around a whole lot, so that's kind of good. She's kind of, re I think, more relaxing. I think she feels relaxed yeah. right now and feels safe in, oh, in, the, in the gloved hands and, <laughs> and uh, is doing well. And so, yeah, you're doing well. Good job. Thank you. Do yeah. people have these as pets? They do, yeah. They, they keep these as pets and they can live, you know, six to ten years or so. And, and so they're not real long lived as pets. But um, yeah, people like them. And I've heard of like some of them like to swim. And, oh, wow. And, uh, but I've seen some really pretty adorable shots of people with their pet hedgehogs at home. Sure. That, and if you work with them a lot all the time, then they're relaxed more and the quills are more relaxed back and they're not poking you as much as they are today yeah. with Quilma. Well, <laughs> let's talk about getting some good shots because there's yeah. plenty of opportunity at the zoo yeah. to get some cute photos, some cute selfies. You've got lots of great events happening. Twilight Tuesday is coming up next week. Yeah, next week we have our uh, third Twilight Tuesday. We have one more in August and this one is a ukulele themed Twilight Tuesday. So if you're a ukulele player, come on over. We will have uh, the songs up on screens and you can play along. And uh, last year we had about 15 players that came out and, and played along. It's just a lot of fun to, to do. And uh, from 530 to 7 and you get in free with your ukulele. So Ooh, that's can't cool. beat that. Yeah. I bet the animals love that. <laughs> yeah, they do. All right. Um, fall hours are coming soon. Yeah, August. I can't believe summer's uh, almost over. August Sad. is almost here. And uh, right now we're 930 to 5 daily and the gate closes at 5 and then if you're in the zoo by that time you can stay in the zoo till 6 and during our fall hours we just short Monday through Friday one hour so it's 9.30 to 4 and when the gate closes and, and then you can stay in the zoo till 5 you know, during okay. the week and then the weekend stays the same 9.30 to 5 with staying in the zoo till 6. So, Very good and then yeah. finally in September we're having a zoo-rific evening. A we are. We're, we're having a fundraiser. We do this um, pretty much every year and, and raise fund for the zoos and future projects. And, and one that we're thinking about now is kind of an alligator expansion for our oh. alligator area. And so, um, yeah, it's a lot of fun, a lot of animal encounters during the zoorific evening. And and uh, you'll get to see me there. And, uh, <laughs> well, that's the We're there. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, thank yeah. you so much for coming, yeah. sharing Quilma here. You did a great thank job, you. Grace. Can you tell I'm comfortable? I'm like, very, yeah, very comfortable. Yeah. <laughs> Quilma is obviously very comfortable as well. Yeah. I think to be burrowing fun. down in your clubs there. <laughs> All right, if you want to learn more about the upcoming events happening at Scoville Zoo, head to CILiving.tv because we'll link you up to their website that we just saw right there.